single sample t-test, when to apply it, how to collect the data, how to analyze it using both Microsoft Excel and Minitab, and finally how to explain the results. Um, to know the so if you want to know the written uh, description step-by-step -step process, you can go to this openeducator.com, uh, DOE module two, and then uh, single sample t-test, click here. So an experimental situation for this would be, let's say we want to test the height of US mail. And um, we we don't know the standard deviation for this situation. So you apply t-test when the population standard deviation is unknown or outdated, we can't really use it. We're gonna have to measure it from the sample. So that is when you apply it. To collect data, simply randomly select 30 or more um, US male population. And then this is the sample data set. Um, so here is this data in Excel. Let me show you how to do it in Excel and then we'll show how to do it in Minitab. So this is the formula. You can find it in the openeducator.com. So to this calculation, first you'll have to calculate the average. So calculate the average. Uh, just click there, done, and then the standard deviation, simply stdev dot sample. Uh, select that uh, column, so it will produce the sample uh, standard deviation. And then degrees of freedom is simply n minus one. Now to calculate this n, you can say, I collected 30, I know, but for a big data set, you can use count function to do, basically count the numbers. So that's 30 degrees of freedom is n minus one in this case uh, for a single sample t test. Now t value, basically just write that formula, x bar minus mu uh, divide by, I'm gonna use another parenthesis, uh, the sample standard deviation divide by oh, qrt the sample size, close the parenthesis for the square root, close it for the denominator, done. And then for the p-value, now t uh, distribution in Excel need an absolute value. So it's not gonna calculate for minus, so we're gonna have to do the absolute. So do let's do t dist, and then let me write abs, so that will produce the absolute value from this, and then comma, degrees of freedom, this one, and then tails. Now this is a two-tail test. Uh, the tail depends on the alternative hypothesis. Um, so if you go to the open educator, it has the step-by-step -step process. So in the alternative hypothesis, we said that it's not equal. That means it can go to the left side or right side, both side. So it's a two-tail test. So we select a two for that, close the parenthesis, done, that's the p-value. Now to calculate the same p-value in Minitab, so I copied the data already, go to stat, t sample, select the data, perform hypothesis on 17 inches, close it. So that's the calculated value from the uh, mini tab. Same value, 0.528 probability value. Now this probability is calculated for the null hypothesis. This is the probability for the null hypothesis to happen. And if it's too low probability, anything less than 5%, we say it's not gonna happen. Uh, so this is 5% uh, is considered too low probability. However, in this case, the probability value was calculated about 0 0.53, 0 0.528. Um, so we'll say we will accept the null hypothesis. So the contextual conclusion would be statistically, the height of US male is 70 inches.